Okay, continuing on. Now we've uh, had a look at um, palettes, and that's under Window and Palettes, and the ones that are ticked are showing. Um, incidentally, if you do lose uh, one of your palettes, you can't find where it is. A good thing to do is go and turn it off. Let's just see the navigation palette disappear from here, and then Window Palette, and turn it back on again. Okay. If they do disappear, sometimes they get they get stuck right in this little area here between your basic tool palette and the main drawing area. So also look for a little letter there like R or N uh, that may be all that's showing. Okay. Um, so um, one of the things I wanted to show was with small screens, uh, you know, 15.4 inch laptops and smaller, it's very uh, pertinent to take advantage of all the screen space you can. Here with the basic tool palette we have uh, wasted area. So if we slowly move our cursor over the double line, um, when it turns to a double line, double arrow, we can make that smaller and then reveal more of our, our tool set for our site planning tools. Okay. Uh, yours may look a little different because in fact I'm using 2011 here but that's fine. Um, they all look approximately the same and the icons are the same anyway. Okay. Now a lot of you will have grid showing or not showing. That's just a matter of when you zoom out far, far too far, it just gets to be too small um, for Vectorworks to keep displaying it. And if you don't want the grid there at all, which I'd actually never use it, we go up to the File drop-down list. We go to Document Settings and Document Setup, and it's in here. Drawing grids, grid lines on. I'll go in and change that. Um, that's fine. Just, just click OK, and here it is, right here. Grid options and untick Show Grid. Click OK. Click OK, and. Um, then we're right to take a look at uh, something in the resource browser here. Now the resource browser um, is showing the active document right now. That is the document I'm working on. There are things under here. You guys will only have a couple or maybe you have none. Uh, but we want to click on our plant objects in our favorites folder. Okay. And give it a minute and it'll populate itself in the resource browser window and here we have uh, several different uh, bits of information files of information and you see they're all displayed and again a, a basic computer procedure if it has a, a triangle or an, a, some sort of arrow if you click on it it generally makes that information disappear because we want all we want showing are the actual plant symbols and here they are here okay then what we did in class was we simply clicked and dragged on ornamental tree one and pulled it into our drawing area and let go okay and then people wound up with a large tree over a very small drawing area now what's happened there okay let's take a look over here and remembering our navigation palette has tabs across the top the first tab are classes, the second tab is your design layers. If we uh, right click on the design layer itself and go to edit, uh, the second one down is scale, we click on scale, click a scale of 1 to 100, click OK and OK. Now we have a small tree in the center of our screen. Okay. The next thing we did in class uh, was we double clicked on the symbol itself, made sure definition was clicked in the radio button, clicked OK, and waited for the Edit Plant Definition dialog box to come up. You can see it's just got generic information here. We clicked on Get Plant Data. That took us to our where all of our plants are located. We went down to Trees. It's populating my trees. It's a little slower than it happens at TAFE. Um, I type C to take me down to Callistamins. It's just a quick way of getting down to the C's. Highlight Callistamin Salignus, click OK. Uh, and then it now brings in the information for Callistamin Salignus, Willow Bottle Brush. Um, first thing we did is we copied and we pasted the name of the tree into the plant symbol name. 
um, that'll become clear later. We then adjusted the spread and height um, to suit this tree itself. So we went, I went uh, for five meter spread, uh, maybe 7,500 millimeter height. I changed this to my naming system, was, which is uh, Calista Munsalignus CMS. Okay, and the schedule size is the pot size that you're going to plant, and I made that 200 millimeters. Okay, went to the render tab, and we ticked uh, the direction we want the arrow to fall. Went to solid color, ticked on that. Some of you will have active documents showing. Go down here and click on classic Vectorworks color, and click on one of these darker shadows. Um, in class I showed you the difference between it showing or not showing on screen. Here you can turn on tick on rendering at creation and it'll show up, the shadow will show up right away. And then under default preferences we change the spacing to 5 meters that we made the plant and down here on tag top or wherever it says more information than none we change that information to quantity and ID and click OK and you'll see it'll take on my computer which is getting a bit older it's taking a little bit to uh, adjust itself okay if that happens scroll in and out now the shadow is not showing so if I highlight the plant by clicking on it and tick on enable 2D plant rendering now the uh, shadow shows up and the last thing I want to do quickly is I want to zoom in here to show you that there is plant information here okay uh, the, the tag is here or the symbol but it's just really small so with it highlighted and you can tell it's highlighted because of the orange we go to text and size go in set size and uh, we can make that um, uh, something a bit larger 24 enter um, and why did that not work um, let's try that again text size and 12 okay so if it doesn't work one way try it another way now there is our call out but these blue squares represent and they're very very small the lines that represent the arrows okay if you click and drag you'll you'll begin to see them okay if you zoom out and then click and drag again you can make it even bigger and then eventually you can get it to the size you want. Okay, and you can click the leader until you get exactly what you how you want it to display. Okay? So I'll pull that up and out right up out from near the plant. We'll make the shoulder, as it's called, a little bigger. Okay? And then we have uh, one plant and we'll stop there.